I found a love for me Darling, just dive right in Follow my lead I found a girl Beautiful and sweet I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give
for a bride and groom. And, and sometimes I've even had them to tell me that they don't even remember the ceremony. They were getting dressed, next thing you know, they were eating roast beef. So I do a little something that they don't know about until this very second <coughs> to let them calm down and be in this moment. I want you to take a second, keep holding each other's hands, but I want you to turn your eyes out to these friends and family that has come here to see you, watch you. Make some eye contact with some of them. Smile at some of them. But, <laughs> now I want you to look back at each other, straighten your eyes, take a deep breath, let it out. Now are you ready to tie this knot? <laughs> Dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here today to join Gigiani, didn't think I'd get it right, <laughs> and Patrick in holy matrimony. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully, seriously, and with deep realization of its obligations and its responsibilities. Please remember that love, loyalty, and understanding are the foundations of a happy and enduring home. What greater thing for two people than to feel that they are joined together, to strengthen each other in labor, to rest each other in sorrow, to help each other in need, to share joy and be one with each other through whatever life has to offer. This is a special time of celebration that they will long remember. And because of this, they are thankful that you are here today to share in their joy. Today begins a life of giving, sharing, nurturing, and support, allowing each other the freedom to change and grow as individuals while developing their mutual spirit as time goes by. In the art of marriage, as we all know, the little things are the big things. It's about establishing a relationship in which independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and obligation is reciprocal. Today, your family and friends are gathered together to celebrate your union. Today, we are privileged to witness two very dear friends, two exceptional individuals, committing to sharing a lifetime together. As Franklin P. Jones once said, love doesn't make the world go round, but it makes the ride worthwhile. Giviani, Patrick, you are about to make promises to one another. You will find that as you live by these vows over the years, investing your time, love, and commitment to one another, the happy times of your life will be twice as joyous because you'll share these joys in marriage. Patrick, will you take Gideon to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you live with her in the state of true matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, through good times and bad, in sickness and in health, honoring her at all times, and being faithful to her. If so, say I do. I do. Gideani, will you take Patrick, whose hands you hold, choosing him alone to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you live with him in the state of true matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, through good times and bad, in sickness and in health, honoring him at all times and being faithful to him? If so, say I do. I do something a little different than a lot of ministers. I have had them to write me privately that moment that they knew that they felt that they loved each other. That moment that all of a sudden Gigiani said, he's the guy for me. She's the one I love, oh my goodness. Neither one has an idea of what the other one has said. But I kind of take it to the next level. I stalk their Facebook account. <laughs> and I find pictures that just speak to me for some reason. They have no idea what I'm about to show them. I put it in a card with the love story inside of it. This is the picture I selected for the front. Oh. <laughs> Let me put the icing on the cake. Here's the back. I'm going to ask you to hold this for me for a second. Patrick to Gigiani. Along the way of falling in love, I fall more in love with you as a person. 
Your looks are a bonus. <laughs> but falling in love with the way you smile or the way you get excited are the only things that matter to me. I fell in love with our bond, the way we play, fight, kiss, or hug. Everything feels real. Everything feels right. It is the way we are so comfortable in front of each other that has made me fall in love with you. I fell in love with the way we do life together. Gianni had a little bit more to say. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick is someone who puts others before him and does anything he can to keep them happy, and I love that about him because that's how he is with me. If there is any way he can make me happy, he will do it. If I'm down, he's there to comfort me and make me forget about it for a bit because he is so goofy <laughs> and jokes around all the time. If I'm not feeling like my best self, he compliments me and makes me feel like the most beautiful woman. If I'm mad for some stupid reason, he makes sure we talk it out. He has taught me that communication is everything because before him, I sucked at expressing my feelings <laughs> and why I was angry at him. Because like all women, don't hit the messenger. <laughs> because like all women, we think they should know why we are mad. LOL. <laughs> Patrick has shown me that true love is by seeing how much he, excuse me, Patrick has shown me what true love is by seeing how much he loves his mom and is willing to do things for her. My mom always told me that if a guy speaks volumes of his mom and loves his mom, that's the way he will be with his significant other. And it's true. He has honestly treated me like a queen and given me more than I deserve. It's cheesy, but true. He makes me feel like the funniest person, even when I know I'm not. He gets my stupid sense of humor, like I make the dumbest jokes, and he laughs at me, and laughs with me, or maybe even at me. Ha uh ha. -huh. But that's what I love about him. He gets me. Most of all, he is patient with me. He never makes me feel dumb if I don't know something. In fact, he helps me, and I'm constantly learning something with him. I love that because with a partner, you never want to bring the other person down. But instead, learn with them, encourage them, help them out if they need it, and Patrick is that person for me. But out of everything, I love Patrick in high school. When I first met him and we were good friends, freshman year, I said to myself, whoever ends up with him is going to be a lucky girl. And years later, here I am being that lucky girl and marrying him. Crazy, but destiny really brings you together with who you're meant to be.
Maybe this ring is a symbol of my love. And that I am choosing to share my life with you. I give you this ring with this pledge. I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Forever. Ladies and gentlemen, they have selected to do the sand ceremony, and it's just inside here behind me. I will move out of the way and let you all know. <coughs> the glass vase with the red, with the red sand represents Patrick and his entire life up to this moment, everything that he has been up to right now. The white sand represents Gideoni and her life up to this moment and everything that she, that she has been up to now. As we blend the sand together, we blend their lives into one. They have selected to share with you all a blessing from the Apache wedding ceremony. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for you will always be warmth for each other. Now you will feel no loneliness, for you will always be each other's companion. Now you are two persons with only one life before you. May beauty and peace surround you both in your journey ahead and all of the years to come. I leave you now with these words. May all that you are always be in love. May all that is love always be in you. May your love be as beautiful on each day you share as it is on this day of celebration. And may each day you share be as precious to you as the day you first fell in love. Remember, a dream you dream alone is just a dream. But a dream you dream together is reality. Patrick, G. Dionis. That reality starts now. You have pledged your faith to each other in the company of two wonderful friends, families, and your circle of friends. So, by the power of in me, by the Commonwealth of Kentucky, I pronounce you husband and wife, sir, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>
control a body and soul Don't move too fast, people just take it slow Don't get ahead, just jump into it Y'all hear about it? The P's are doing it
pues bueno, desde lo que lo conocí a él, siempre, como nosotros estamos acostumbrados los hispanos, siempre bromear, siempre decir cosas, yo él pensé, yo dije, no, a lo mejor no es así, pero desde un principio nos empezamos a llevar bien y siempre mi, como mi broma con él, siempre le digo que nosotros estamos platicando, mi hermano y yo decimos alguna cosa y o luego le digo a él, le digo, ese tú no lo entiendes o algo, porque le blanco, siempre es la broma con él y siempre nos hemos reído de eso. Um, también ellos siempre, desde que los conozco, siempre ellos están bromeando, siempre veo que tienen una bonita relación y solo les quiero desear esta noche lo mejor a ellos ahorita en su nueva etapa de, de que se casaron y también el bello sobrino que me regalaron y los que faltan creo. Eh, pero de todas maneras en esta noche les quiero agradecer a todos ustedes por acompañarnos en esta noche tan especial para ellos y para nosotros. Um, I just want to also thank everybody that's here with my sister. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, like I was saying, um, ever since I met Patrick, uh, we've always joked around and as us, like I was saying, we always like to joke and with him at the beginning, I was like, should I, should I not? But um, like I said, my joke with him has always been, we say, my sister and I would always say something or he would say something, he's like, you don't get it because you're white. But nothing racist, but that's always something that, that we always have a thing between us. But um, I just want to thank you all for coming and for being here on their special night. My name is Sam, Pat this man. Nice to see y'all. Uh, thanks for everybody for coming out tonight. And uh, I just want to say I am honored to be your best man to stand here by your side. And uh, whew, I'm nervous, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I just love you as a brother. And uh, I just want to tell you congratulations for a lifetime. Love and happiness. And uh, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm nervous. A, a todos los que vinieron, a todos los que nos acompañaron a, esta noche, les agradezco. Mi hija, eh, yo creo que es la más feliz porque te, tiene a todas las personas que, que valora y que quiere como amigos, entonces yo creo que siempre hay que ser los partícipes de, de, de estos este, acontecimientos. Entonces yo les doy las gracias a todos y espero que se estén divirtiendo, espero que todo esté a la altura. Gracias. Uh, I'll try something in English, you know. I don't really speak better, but I'll try, okay? Thank you, thank you very much, everybody, tonight. You know, thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting my daughter and Patrick. Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a good... Good night. Good night? Yeah. Yeah, good night, you know, for uh, probably socialize, you know, each other, you know, and probably... Uh, I don't know, I think everybody enjoy or celebrate uh, this uh, special night. But thank you very much for coming, everybody, okay? Thank you.
the single guys, all the single guys who dance for it. We have more single guys out there.